Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have not worked in this new 100 Days journal yet, and so I wanted to pop on and do an entry and share with you guys some new printables from the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. So uh, I've just started partnering with Illustrated Faith to start sharing some more of their printables with you guys. So thank you to Illustrated Faith for doing that. Um, so just heads up, this video is sponsored by them, but it was in response to you guys. You guys have been asking for more video processes using um, printable items and so I connected with Shauna we talked about it and we came up with this so each month I will be creating with some of the products from the better together releases and trying to get a little bit more content on my channel using printables from Illustrative Faith for you guys I think it's a great option especially for those of you who live overseas and may not be able to get the digital project products as easily. Um, the digital options make it great because you don't have to pay for shipping. You can print it on whatever um, type of uh, medium that you want. You can print it over and over and over again. Uh, so it makes it kind of timeless. And they usually put out their collections that coordinate with other products that are out on the market at the time, whether it be like a 100 days journal or their devotional kits or things like that. And so today I'm creating with this set from Brianna Showalter. Um, this is Dreamer and I've already cut mine apart, but it was all printed on uh, white cardstock. I will have the cardstock that I prefer listed down below for you guys, as well as the printer that I use. I get a lot of questions about those kinds of things. And so I hope to be sharing more tips and tricks and techniques along the way in regards to printables with this kind of new series, I guess that's going to be on my channel. So I will have all that linked down below for you guys, but I just printed on white cardstock. And I believe that this set was meant to coordinate with the new 100 Days to Dream Your Heart Out. Um, this is a devotional journal from Katie Foltz. Now, this was not uh, an Illustrative Faith 100 Days journal. There are some Illustrative Faith uh, 100 Day journals out there. I will have those linked down below. Um, but they decided to do some product to coordinate with it. And as a group in the Illustrated Faith community, we will be working through this journal together to help support Katie, which I love. So um, the book does not come coil bound. I did that myself. This was a test. I just ordered or the cinch machine from Heidi Swap that allows you to um, bind your own books. And so this is my first attempt. By no means was it perfect. I need to redo it. It was not a big enough coil. Um, but I like coil binding my 100 days journals so that they lay completely flat. They're a little bit easier to work in. And then that way, if I want to add bulky items, I've got room to expand and grow. Um, once I get a bigger coil on it, I will have even more room to grow in there. So that is what I'm working in. Um, I'm working on the very first day. I'm a little bit behind. Um, I think this project started on January 6th and I have not started it yet. So we will be diving in and creating here. So I printed these, cut them all out. Uh, this set from Brianna Showalter has a bunch of journaling cards. These, when I printed them, are sized to be about three and a quarter. I think it was three and a quarter by three and three quarters um, size. So you could, could create like a little mini book with these. You could just use these as journaling spots. But like I said, the colors are meant to coordinate with this book. So I'm going to be using these as journaling spots. It has um, some solid, not solid printed because they're printed print. <laughs> they're not journaling lines. But they have these ones with uh, florals and things on them, just plain cards. I'm actually going to be die cutting some uh, alphabets and making my own alpha stickers. So I wanted to show you how to turn printables into alpha stickers. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this card here. It does have some, this collection has some tabs, shapes in there, has some little rectangular shapes that you can cut tabs out of or just use as layering pieces, little faux washi strips. If you printed this on um, clear sticker paper or even fabric, you can create little fabric washies. Um, it does have a set of scripture suggestions. So if you are not working in this booklet, you can still work with these printables. So there are a bunch of verses that you can journal with. So I love that she included that for those who aren't working in the book. There's some little phrases. There's this sheet of paint swatches with all these different words that I'm going to mix and match to create my title today um, and just put that together. There's also some uh, strips, printed strips that can be washy if you want it to, or cut out tabs, um, and that kind of thing. So one nice thing about printables, like I said, you can print it on whatever medium that you want. It kind of changes, um, 
you know, the, the look of that printable. I've also pulled out some washi tape. This is some super old washi from the second devotional kit that Illustrated Faith ever did with Dayspring. So this is no longer available, but I wanted to pull out some things from my stash to work with printables. That's the nice thing about printable kits is that they can kind of boost up maybe some physical product that you already have in your stash. So I've got that. Um, we are going to be making some alpha stickers, like I mentioned, some foam alpha stickers. So I have a die set here. Uh, I will be using a manual die cutting machine. I'll link a tip Tuesday down below all about that. Um, so I will be cutting out letters from one of these printed cards. Um, I'm also going to be adding some double-sided adhesive to it. I'll show you how I do that and then cutting it out of some craft foam as well. That way they're kind of like a thicker um, so they have some dimension. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and show you how I put this page together using these printables from Brianna Showalter over at Illustrated Faith. Okay, so I have this uh, card that, that had some journaling lines and I took it over to my typewriter and just typed out my prayer on it. And now we're gonna start prepping for the letters. So this is some Sizzix double-sided adhesive. So I'm just gonna apply this to the back of one of these printed cards. There's a lot of different products on the market that do something similar to this. So I will have a couple things linked down below for you guys. Um, but this is the easiest way that I found to get um, adhesive on the backside of larger elements like this. So now it is completely coated. It does have a second um, like backing to it. And so I'm gonna leave that on while I die cut out of it. And these letters, I'm gonna mix and match with some of the paint swatches from the printable set. So I have this set of alpha dies from Tim Holtz. They are linked down below for you guys. I just pulled out the various letters that I needed for my title. Um, this particular set of alphas is really nice because it has multiples of the letters so I can you know, die cut everything at once. And I'm just using some washi tape to hold all the letters together. Um, this just helps things from moving around when I send it through my die cutting machine. That way I make sure you know everything is good to go. And then I also grabbed some foam adhesive. The one that I have only not foam adhesive, craft foam that <laughs> has adhesive on the back side of it. The one that I've linked down below is a double-sided craft foam, so it has adhesive on the front and the back, so you could skip the Sizzix adhesive step if you purchase that foam. But here I've cut out the letters from both that printed cardstock as well as the foam, and I did find it easier to stick the foam letters back into the negative spaces when sticking the printed paper onto the front of them. Um, it just kind of helps them maintain their shape a little bit better and it's just easier and goes a little bit faster. So that's what I'm doing here is just sticking it back into the foam adhesive. And then I can just pull the backer sheet off of the printed letters, stick them on the fronts of the foam letters. And then when I pop those foam letters out, I can remove the backer sheet from the back of the foam adhesive. And now they are foam stickers, if that makes sense. You could also skip the foam adhesive step and just use the floral printed cardstock and have flat stickers if that's you know more what you're looking for that process was a little bit tedious i'm not gonna lie but you could sit and do a whole bunch of letters all at once and then just save them in a little dish or something and then you've got them ready to go when you're working with them um, that might be an easier way to do it is just print you know make a whole bunch of them all at once rather, rather than trying to do it every time that you sit down um, to work on a particular project I did pull that pink doily to layer behind my journaling card. That is from the Target dollar spot um, with all of their Valentine's collection right now. So that is something that I purchased recently uh, just to use as layering pieces in my projects. And so now I can start building up my title over here. So I pulled out a couple of those paint swatch pieces um, and my title is going to say God can help me align my dreams with his plan and that is one thing I really enjoyed about this particular 100 days journal um, kind of the I guess the fad right now is about you know dreams and your dreams and and um, manifesting things into your life I do not think that that's a biblical way of thinking at all um, and I liked that this journal didn't take that um, kind of popular way of thinking right now it went more into you know yes we can have dreams but our dreams need to be aligned with God's greater plan and that's what the most important thing is is what his plan is for our life so I'm uh, just journaling a prayer that you know my my dreams would become aligned with what God has planned for me and my life 
I did outline those stickers with a black pen just to help them stand out. You could also use colored foams, um, craft foams like blacks or a dark pink or a teal it would also help those letters kind of pop and another way to customize them that you can't do with regular alphabet stickers. So you could also do that technique with the printed, or not the printed, the uh, patterned paper packs that are in the print and pray shop. Say that 50 times fast. <laughs> Um, the pattern papers would be perfect for this technique, um, cutting out uh, alphas and creating your own alpha stickers. These particular dies are a little bit smaller, um, so it's a little bit more tedious, but there are a variety of sizes of alphas out there that you can use. So everything will be linked down below for you guys. So there's a look at the finished entry. Pretty simple. I just wanted to share with you some creative ways to use those printables. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.